Hello. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, the dual assign method for optimization today. So let's consider an optimization problem here. We are trying to minimize fx subject to a linear constraint ax minus ax equal to b. Uh, we can absorb this constraint ax equal to b as follow. Uh, basically, uh, instead of trying to minimizing uh, fx directly, we are trying to minimize this uh, kind of solution of an optimiz another optimization problem. And we can think of this as a function uh, gx here, uh, the solution of this optimization problem as function of gx. And what is gx exactly, if we look at this carefully, is just when the optimization constraint is satisfied, uh, basically ax is equal to b, then uh, gx is just equal to fx. And if ax is not equal to b, then I can always pick y such that this thing will go to infinite, go to infinity. Uh, so therefore, like gx will be just equal to infinity. So in the sense that therefore, like if we try to minimize gx, we will always ignore the solution, ignore the x such that uh, it's infinite. So that corresponds to the case that constraint is not satisfied. Uh, therefore, like this um, kind of like uh, kind of um, rewriting this problem uh, will be equivalent to the original problem. So you see like this, okay, we successfully absorb the constraint into the optimization problem. Now let us uh, rename this fx plus y transfer x minus b as our x y and think of the dual problem of this optimization problem. So we call this original problem the primal problem. The dual problem uh, will be simply to swap the optimization step. Uh, basically, we're trying to minimize over x first before maximize over y. And then uh, let's call x star as the solution of the primal problem that basically that's the solution of this original problem that we're trying to first uh, maximize over y and then minimize over x. And y star as the solution that we're trying to uh, first minimize y and then maximize, uh, sorry, minimize x and then maximize y. So we have the primal and the dual solution. If strong duality holds, then basically we can connect the uh, the primal solution and the dual solution in the following. Basically, x star will be just equal to the solution, also equal to the solution of minimizing Lxy star. And what happens here is if the strong duality holds, Basically, it doesn't matter whether we are going to do the maximization first or do the minimization first and so on. So what we can do is we just do these steps iteratively back and forth. And that's exactly the idea of the dual ascent method. So basically, we'll try to, let's say, in the k plus 1 iterative step, we'll use the uh, intermediate solutions that we obtain in the previous step, let's say the yk and xk. And we update xk plus 1 as just the solution of trying to minimize our xyk. And we could do the same thing for yk plus 1. But actually, we cannot do that because if we look at the uh, original expression there, if we're trying to, uh, let's say, uh, maximize y um, over this L xk plus 1 y, so what happened is that we can just pick, let's say, uh, beta ax minus b, and take betas to infinity, and we will get the solution is basically infinite. So therefore, like uh, we cannot do that, like uh, uh, just as it is now. So instead, like we we can just update yk by a little bit. So instead of trying to maximize yk all the way because it's impossible, we'll just get infinite. Um, we'll just maximize yk a little bit. So we'll just go along the direction of ASK plus 1 minus b. This can ensure that like we'll get a little bit 
bigger LSK plus one Y. Um, that's basically to do as an algorithm. We just like do these two step iteratively. Um, thank you for watching today. So um, basically, it's like um, the advantage of doing two ascent algorithm. So uh, we view that like in last time the dual ascent algorithm is just like this. So we're trying to optimize a objective function f x subject to constraint a x uh, equal to b. So in the dual ascent algorithm, basically we can we can just optimize it uh, going through two steps iteratively. Uh, we can optimize uh, for minimizing this lxy over x, where lxy is basically fx plus y transpose ax minus b. And then uh, we can go to another step that is trying to optimize the same function with respect to y. But this function basically is unbounded if we try to optimize over y, so we just update y a little bit each time, just uh, going towards the direction that lxy will, be, uh, will increase in size. <laughs> Now the advantage of this dual ascent algorithm as I just mentioned here is that if we assume that fx can be decomposed, for example fx uh, can be decomposed as like sum over fixi where i is equal to 1 to n, then uh, what we can do is we can we write lxy okay, as this guy and then we can decompose fx as this guy. And then we can decompose uh, xi also. So uh, basically, uh, of course, here we assume that like this is kind of exclusive. Like fi, xi only uses use. Uh, they do not have, for example, f one x one and f two x two x one and x two. The two set uh, argument sets are uh, uh, exclusive to each other, and also like. The union of this x i over uh for i equal to one to n will equal to the entire set x, and then like uh, so we can just write this a x is just equal to a a i x i sum over a i x i. Then uh, then we can just rewrite this l x y as a summation of this l x i y here. So since we can do that, then uh, essentially we can decompose this optimization step, the first optimization step, as trying to minimize individual xi here. So therefore we can do a parallel programming in a sense that like can split the algorithm into n processors, let's say each of them handle one of these optimization problems here continue to talk about this uh, optimization uh, method. Uh, basically, I would like to talk about augmented Lagrangian and method of multipliers. Uh, the idea of augmented uh, Lagrangian is very simple. So consider the uh, problem that we discussed last time. Let me use uh, maybe yeah, this is better to a uh, better pointer here. So this is the original problem we are considering. And let's consider a equivalent problem that basically we add this uh, uh expression to an objective function. We plus rho min uh, rho over two a x minus b, and of course, of course, this doesn't change the optimization problem at all because uh we we have the constraint that a is is equal to b. So this thing we are adding is basically is just a zero. Uh, but uh, adding that will make the problem more numerically stable. And uh, if we try to solve this using Lagrange multiplier, this is equivalent to adding uh, this term here. Uh, we call this an augmented Lagrangian method. And uh, so basically, the uh, method of multipliers is nothing just to uh, when we try to solve this original optimization problem, 
We try to apply the dual assent method that is, we discussed previously to uh, this new uh, optimization problem with the amend Lagrangian uh, 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 expression. So if we apply that, if we had to do ascent to this algorithm, we basically have these two steps here. One is just to um, minimize the elbow xy uh, that uh, with respect to x with y fixed. And we call this my elbow here is basically this expression with this extra uh, terms here. Um, and uh, <laughs> And in the second step, we're going to update yk uh, as uh, yk plus uh, rho axk plus 1 minus b. So know that the difference of this step from the previous step, uh, previous uh, derivation is that we have this rho here. Then in the last time, we, we use alpha k uh, instead uh, um, for, for this uh, constant. Uh, Know that actually, this uh, reason to use wall here that's much better to use wall than uh just looking for any arbitrary constant, because like if we consider this original Lagrange uh original optimization problem, and look at the dual and the primal problem. Let's say look at the primal problem first. We basically have uh the problem is basically trying to Minimize my LXY and then minimize uh, over Y and then minimize uh, over X. Uh, assume that Y star is the optimum for the first optimization problem, then it's basically the primal problem is just trying to minimize LXY star. And X star in this case will be optimum also if and only if that the uh, uh, gradient of this LXY star at x equal to x star should be equal to zero. So if we take the gradient of that, it simply is equal to this expression here. So, and we can do the same thing for the dual problem. So in that case, we just swap the minimization and the maximization. And then I, again, I will assume that x star is the optimum value for the uh, first optimization problem. So then the dual problem can, can be written as I like maximize L x star y with respect to y. And then y star is optimum. Again, if we just take the gradient of L x star y with respect to y, uh, at the point that y is equal to y star should be equal to zero. And in that case, uh, we should just get like A x star uh, minus b is equal to zero. Now, so basically, this are the uh, required step for optimization in any case. Um, uh, require a condition for the optimization, as you say. And then, uh, let's say, if we look, go back to look at our, uh, uh, our uh, new optimization method using a uh, method of multipliers, uh, basically, we have uh, by equation one here, we should have like x k, uh, the gradient of f, gradient of l o x y k, at x equal to x k plus one should be equal to zero. That's by definition because x k plus one is the solution of minimizing l o x y k with respect to x. And if we take the derivative of that, or if we take the gradient of that. Uh, that gradient is equal to gradient of f, x k plus one and a transpose y k plus rho a transpose a x k plus one minus b. So th this is pretty simple uh, uh gradient uh calculation, and then uh afterward we just group the term here. We know that this is nothing, but from our second iteration step, this should be just equal to yk plus 1. And if this is equal to yk plus 1, we have this actually, we have this uh, gradient of xk plus 1 plus h transpose yk plus 1 is equal to 0. 
And this is exactly the optimal uh, condition required in the primal problem here. So if we continue to iterate, we must assume that like this will iterate eventually converge. It will converge to the optimal solution, at least will converge to something that satisfies this condition of, uh, to be optimum, the optimum condition. So therefore we see that like it's really needed to have this alpha k, this constant in the past here, there to be really equal to wall here. And so this is uh, what I want to talk about uh, methods of multipliers and also amended like